I feel like things are working good for preaching. That was very good. <clears throat> Jai Srila Prabhupada, thank you so much for this wonderful, uh, God, their services. You know, they have so empowered, huh? So amazing. Thank you so much. You know, to bring Krishna consciousness to the world, the extreme amount of mercy and empowerment to do that. Krishna is so much working bring people from the, uh, you know, just, you know, just, just wanton sense enjoyers coming to, to do rules and regulations. Anybody on this path, I know I've been poo-pooing a lot, but still, you magnanimous souls, we read that. Anybody who's taking the trouble to serve, to worship God, even Jarasandha. Jarasandha was a magnanimous soul. Even so, we still have to, you know, just say, you're still against. See, it's not easy. Not even the demigods, not even my students to understand this transcendental pole. It's not easy for me to understand this. It's not easy for Krishna to understand himself. He says, I, you know, i got to take the form of Radharani who understands me better than I do because of the strength of her devotion and bhakti. He said, I can't, I'm, even this who I am is difficult. Understand. So, what is our are these these neophytes? They think, oh, I understand everything about Krishna. Even Brahma, man, he says, uh, anybody who thinks they know everything about Krishna, let them be stupid idiots. As far as I know, I, whoever you are, whatever you are, I pay my respectful obeisances to you. I mean, I'm learning about Krishna every day. Aren't you? You know. This is what you do. Now this is when you go up and up and up and you get through this false ego layer stuff. Don't worry. It's just uh, it's a birth, going through the birth canal. That's all you are. You know, being born on this other level of life, real life. And then you understand when Jesus said, I have life, I give it to you abundantly. That life is here, you know, to relish the, the scriptures like he did and like all devotees do. <laughs> God darn it, man, it's doing the same thing. Nick Veda is down, man. Yeah. So, uh, there's another way I can do this. Guess I'll do a search. Hope they didn't take that thing offline, man. This would be a catastrophe. Okay. So this is chapter 10. Description of Mahak Prakash. The ecstasy of 21 hours. Are you okay there, Johnny King? Hooey. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's like... <laughs> Electric in there, huh? Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So description of the Mahaprakash pastimes. My dearest friend, Lord, Lord Goranga, you're the ocean of transcendental qualities. All glories to you. Oh, shoes. Ooh. And all glories to Lord Nichananda Prabhu, the Supreme Personality uh, uh, without beginning or end. See, Nichananda Prabhu was considered the second form of Lord Chaitanya. See, second form. That's, so, uh, that's how the Lord expands. His second form was Lord Nichananda. So Nichananda's servants are in the line. The real servants are in the line. So they're considered forms of Lord Chaitanya also because they're a servant of Nichananda. See, so they represent, see, re, what do you think representing the Lord means? You really represent the Lord. The people, they look at you and they see the Lord. That's what Jesus meant. When you see me, you see the Father. See, you see in the qualities of the Father, right? What is the difference between mercy and mercy? The mercy of the Son and the mercy of the Father. See, the mercy of the Father comes through the Son. The same mercy, man. See, you can be, that's why I say, you know, the, the, the Lord has the power to forgive sins, right? Well, the Son does too. Isn't that what Jesus said? Well, you, hey man, the Son has the power to forgive sins. See, forgiving sins here is not to do all these external manifestations. No, we come raise the, the living dead into, the, into, uh, into life. That's a resurrection here. 
We have all the deeper understandings of what all that stuff is meant. Prasadam, like he was talking about Prasadam. Well, no, Prasadam, the deeper understanding of Prasadam is the Lord's mercy, right? The food is the Lord's mercy. But this is the food of the devotees. When you get attracted to this by hearing talks from a real devotee, man, now you're really taking Prasadam that the devotees eat straight up, man, and gives them eternal life. There you're still in process, man. You're going to get it in due course because you've ate those physical remnants, but you may not get it in this life. Depends when deliverance is here. And, and you can take this prasadam. If you like this prasadam, here, because this is the Lord's mercy, man. These revelations and realizations, this is the mercy of the Lord. Okay, and you like that? Now you're getting, that's why you feel stronger and stronger every day. Me too. See, the Lord is giving his mercy of prasad. And people, it's like, you know, you don't come to these classes, you say, oh, you're not taking prasad today. You're not really, you're not, you don't have any faith in these remnants. These are the remnants of a devotee relishing their relationship with the Lord, man. There are no better, higher, deeper remnants than that. Harida said, let me be born in this, actually, he said this in this 10th uh, chapter here. He said, let me be born in, 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 in the society of devotees, man. And I can take their remnants. He's not just saying the food, man. It's the food is for the devotee, is Harikata, man. Let me be born in such a society. See? Here we can't even get devotees to come here. Like four people out of millions. How stupid that is. Shows you what we got to work with in this world, man. We, we got a lot. Are you ready to roll up your sleeves, everybody? Huh? How pathetic. We got four people out of millions of devotees. That ain't up to standard. You know, we don't, I don't want to see the Lord, you know, like, you know, Radharani, the Lord says, I think I'm going to go to the material world. And Radharani says, why do that? Nobody cares about you. That's how it really is, man. Nobody, devotees, so-called devotees don't care about Krishna. We're going to change that. I don't care you guys doing all those, oh, Krishna, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then, you know, you, 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 you see a devotee who's showing you what Krishna really is. Oh, I don't like that. Huh. See? And I wonder, Radha, I say, hey, go there, and people don't even care about you. They only worship you in name only, you know. They would have a poop in their pants if they see your real manifestation. Mm. <laughs> they all think of pure devotees. Oh, you know, oh, I do like that, okay? It's less offensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little finger, little finger, little finger. How about that? Ooh. Yeah. Hey, I can get away with that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is such a bright screen. I got to lower it down a little bit. Lord, your brightness is too much. Okay. There we go. Better. All right. Uh. My dearest friend, Lord Goranga, you are an ocean of transcendental qualities. The ocean of transcendental qualities. It's different than qualities in the world, isn't it? You got qualities good and bad in the world. This person's a good person. Ah, this is a very good guru. Okay, let's make it practical. Good guru, very good guru. He's so good, he's so austere, so regulative. Oh, does he know that he's memorized so many nice verses? Okay. But then people read the Shastras and everything, they read from this mode of goodness covering. Therefore, they don't understand. <laughs> it's not enough, is it? Ah! They can't see the ocean of transcendental qualities. They only see this good stuff. You know? 
See, they look through that lens, you know, of goodness. You know, do they follow rules? Is he a moral person? All that stuff. See, but the transcendental quality is where the real life is, man. See, and there's an ocean here. That's why the devotees, they got an endless ocean, you know, of, of happiness. You know, if as you're getting this potency, you should just be walking with these these verses in you. If you're feeling lonely or anything, you know, it's because separation. Hey, man, open, keep your book, man. Walk down the street. Now you have your companion here. The Lord's right here, man. Just meditate on the verses. I've been doing it for years. It's great. You know, just uh, Bhagavad Gita even is so nice to just think on and think about the Lord. Uh, some devotees, they have that thing. Sometimes they just sit there and think about the Lord. Contemplate his beauty and majesty and sweetness, whatever. <laughs> it's unlimited transcendental qualities in all these different, you know, manifestations, and they're all in these revealed scriptures. We don't just have the Bible; we have so many wonderful books with these transcendental qualities. Yeah. I tell you, if Christians got wind of this, they would, because a lot of them are opened up, and they could, they actually, are, they have the qualification, but they just don't have the faith in that this is the same God they're worshiping. If they had it, they would be qualified to read this. They would relish it. See? The Vaishnavas, they haven't even been opened up. They're not even born again. They, you have to be, you have to hear like Jesus. You have, have to be opened up. You have to do, do what Jesus did for his disciples. You have to, you have to hear from them and become cleansed by hearing from the real devotees and cleansed of speculations and all that stuff and all these, these things that cause you misery, man. Misconceptions and ignorance and all that has to be cleansed by sufficient hearing. And then the Lord starts to awaken in your heart. You have that transformation like you've seen him and Govinda have. See? And then you're really into it, you know? Now you have, your life is this, and if you if you don't get into this, you'll dry up, man. If you watch too much David Ick, Ike, man, it'll just, it'll sap you up, man. You'll become a lizard. <laughs> you can watch a little, but not too much, you know? But also, yeah, I watch also a little. I watch a little, you know, I watch a, that thing. I just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. You gotta... Yeah, <laughs> you kind of look like a little lizard. Man. <laughs> we'll take you out of the well, man, like, like Krishna did. All right, yeah. So after bestowing boons on Sridhar, Lord Chaitanya began to gently sway his head and repeat the name Nada, Nada, Nada. He spoke to Advaita Acharya. Acharya, ask what you need. The Acharya replied, My prayers are already answered, my Lord. His prayer was that he come. And that's a devotee. They, they, you know, that's the only prayer. That Lord, come on, you come. Okay? And that's why I say, in chanting, you're all just pray that the Lord manifests. He's there in his name. They manifest, devotion manifests. And then everything will happen. People will benefit just from that. Lord, you come. So, yeah. Nada, nada. Then he spoke to Advaita Acharya. Oh, Acharya. So, Lord Chaitanya appreciated uh, this answer with thunderous roar and drowned all other sound. What is this? Won't move up. Ah. Stuck. Oh, there we go. There we go, okay. There we go. While Lord Chaitanya was manifesting his Mahaprakash Lila in the mood of the om omnipotent, supremely opulent Lord, Gadadhar Pandit prepared betel and offered it to him, and the Lord took it and ate. Lord Nityananda, whose partial expansion was in not to say she is the support of the universe. So, you see, even the devotees, Gadadhar was in the mood of the sweetness, you know, of Vrindavan. 
still, they very expert, because he's a gopi, right? Like Rana Rani, very expert in serving the Lord. So the, her Lord, like Gadar's in his transcendental relation, her Lord wants to, you know, relish this mood of opulence. It's all mellows, man. That's all people are doing is relishing material mellows in this world. See? Okay? So they're making the Lord happy in this mundane world. And it's not very happy. See, superficial happiness is actually the Lord enjoying. Not you is a complete illusion. This I, me, and mine is complete illusion. That's a false ego. Okay? You're, the persons in the world are always trying to satisfy the Lord and don't even know it. That's what illusion does. It illusions you. It makes the illusion that you're, you've got this separate identity from the Lord in the wrong way. See, you don't know that you're actually serving the Lord. You think you're being served. You're not. You're serving the Lord. On the, even in the mode of ignorance, there's a kind of pleasure drunks get, but it's not very good. See, that's the darkness. That's the shadow of God. You're serving the darkness. So it, it, it's like it's the counterpart of the light. You know? So here, the, in the mode of ignorance, you're serving the Lord, but it's not very good. It puts you down in more darkness. See, because it's his shadow. It's his dark. It's like you're serving. Can you see you have your shadow there and say, I want to do service for you all day. You're serving a fucking dark thing that does <laughs> It's like weird. Nobody does that. This is the form of the Lord in the world. And the mode of passion too, you're serving the Lord and giving him some, this, this uh, material happiness, but it's like iron, it's not very good. And you're rel- trying, see the Lord is, is, is relishing that, but it's not very relishable. That's why he's neutral of this, all this stuff. In mode of goodness too, he's still neutral. You're trying to make the Lord happy in the mode of good. Now you're feeling more happy, right? You, well actually it's the Lord feeling that. But it's not enough to dissipate your ignorance that, you, that actually you're making the Lord happy. I got this question. I'll answer it here and I'll answer it again. See, question uh, from a devotee. She said, uh, uh, when you feel ecstatic love, is that you feeling it or God feeling it? Great question. It's the Lord feeling it, man. Now your intelligence starts to get purified. When you start to worship the Lord on the level of ecstatic devotion, those mellows, you become aware of what's going on. You become like the Lord, intelligent like the Lord. You realize, I'm your servant. You know it, man. It's not a in name. Oh, I'm a servant of Krishna. Oh, yeah? And, oh, I'm a servant of Krishna. And you see my face? I'm a servant of Krishna. I don't take any sense gratification. You see me? See, you're not, you're not taking sense gratification and you look like a prune because you can't taste this ecstatic bliss making you really happy. See? So as we taste this, this ecstatic devotion, which is what our, our mission to distribute here, you start to get cleansed of all kinds of bullshit in your mind and, and, and crazy ideas and speculations that you hear from even these so-called big gurus. They're all, you know, unless you're really serving the Lord on this Sudha Bhakti level and making the Lord so happy that he's so happy that it's just running down your face with tears and laughter and choking. This is the Lord's happiness. You're giving that to him now. Why do you think externally in the past times the Lord got people to chant? He got his friends to chant. You know, the, the, the women, he, every time he chanted, he stopped crying. And they figured out, oh, the Lord likes us to do this. See? The opposite happens now. We, you know, when we start get people to chant, they start crying. And that's the Lord's happiness. There it was just to you know, because if the Lord stops crying, people think, oh, we did something good, so he did that little trick. See? But he got people, he said, this gives me the greatest happiness is if you chant Hare Krishna. See? Problem is, if you do it with offenses, people lose heart. You can go do YouTube search, 
people, ex Hare Krishna devotees. I did that yesterday. I want to see how many ex are. And you see people pop. I was an ex I'm a Hare Krishna devotee. I went through ISKCON and all that stuff. See, he didn't make it to Ras. Because if you make it to Ras, why would you give it up? Why would you give up? You find now you find out what you're really looking for. We got a guy coming back, you know, he was went to Jesus after twenty two years of dry chanting. I knew other person came on my thing and said, Yeah, twenty two years I had Bhavananda was my big guru, you know, and you know, it didn't work. I wonder why. Still glorifying the guy, man. You know, it hasn't changed much. I think he's still probably doing what he did. Nobody changes much. What are you going to do? Well, you know, he had a reputation back then, being a guru. You know, we, we, we just worship reputations. You know, he's a Prabhupada disciple. Oh, wow. Hmm. Whoopee. You're a Prabhupada disciple. Do you like our preaching? No. Oh, you're not a Prabhupada disciple. You're not a good one yet. We'll make you a good one. Are you ready? No. Okay, we'll die being a Prabhupada disciple. And hey, Prabhupada, hey, thank you very much for having faith in me. You still got that false ego there thinking you were a Prabhupada disciple. But, you know, I'm just a disciple of ecstatic devotion. That's what I was. I'm trying to teach everybody that. You didn't quite make it, but enjoy with the demigods for a while. Why not? You believed in me, you know, you, you know, more or less. You know, you, you didn't, I, I had to hide who I would really was, right? Because if I would lose you, you know, but if we got you in that long, you gave your whole life, and, and you're a Prabhupada disciple, tro- toward the world, and everybody said, he's a Prabhupada disciple. They're relishing the ras of pride. You know, hey, that's okay. I mean, okay, good. Enjoy the realm. We got you out for giving you human birth in your next birth. What, I got to come back? Yeah, you got to come back, you know. But hey, enjoy up here for a while. You know, 10 million years or so. A lot of people are happy with that. Believe it or not. Hey, like the Muslims, some, hey, just give me those uh, what, uh, seven virgins up there. Because you can have sex all you want up there, man. No reaction. <laughs> you know? There's a movie, Defending Your Life, and the guy passes over into the next world. It's a really great movie. Passes over into the next world, and, and, the, and one of these angels comes and says, comes in with the, the uh, as a waiter, he has a nice hotel room, you know, and it comes as a waiter, you know, it says, here you go, here, and eat all you like here. <laughs> There's no reaction. <laughs> He's what you want. <laughs> hey, you guys eating, 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 eating. <laughs> so, there you go. A lot of people happy with that. You know, one lady, she came, she said, oh, you know, I'm coming to Goa. I'd like to meet you and the devotees there and everything, you know. I'd like to come to Goa. You know, I just, and, and so she comes to Goa. I never saw her. And this is what I see devotees always doing this. It's so unfortunate they were you know at least they made the phone call but you know I came to so I finally after a week I said where are you I haven't seen you oh I was just so busy with my friends I had to catch up with my friends here and all they're all friggin neophytes man they have no idea what the hell's going on here in this room stupid idiots <laughs> this is what devotees they're not devotees, yeah, they'd be right here if they were. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, it's too busy with my friends. They're not your friends. They kept you away from where, where, the, where the real party is. That is no friend, man. It's illusion, just neophytes. Oh, they take you away this way. That So many have been here, did the same thing. Have people, they're waiting for the false ego people here to come, the big false egos the Narayim Raj group to come with, they're still in case of fall. They won't come here, I guarantee it. They'll be in their big show and party and they're, oh, and we're nice people. Oh, we're well, nice people. Ain't nice, ain't good enough. And I tell you, this is what we do. This is what happens when real devotees are here. Most don't know them. And they're all touted as pure devotees. See, look. She said, oh, I'm on my way now to Varkala, man. 
So, yeah, meeting you, well, who cares about that? See, I told you people, when Krishna is here, Krishna is real devotee here, most people don't care in the name of devotee, being a devotee. I mean, that's the fact. You know, Ramananda Roy said, if spontaneous devotion is available somewhere where a guru really is, you should immediately get it at once. See, now that's the truth. Because now you can end the cycle of birth and death in this life in even less than a month sometimes. You could be free from endless chain of birth and death when you meet a real devotee. I know I'm Sorry. You're good. <laughs> no. <laughs> but people don't care. All in the name, I'm a Prabhupada disciple. Big friggin' deal. With the, it's available here. People don't know. What is that called? Illusion. Illusion. I know I'm not very humble telling you the truth. Hey, man, truth will set you free. Maybe somebody will listen. Wake them up, you know. Jeev Jago, this is just our version of Jeev Jago. Wake up, you idiots! <laughs> You're asleep still, as devotees are asleep. Yeah. You can't wake them up with ecstatic love often. Oh, no, Sadhya, there you go away. You can't wake them up with transcendental knowledge. You know, you give the greatest classes in the world, 365 days, four or five hours, they still call it Sahaja. So what do you do? You get the fucking club out! Bam! Bam. <laughs> hey, why do you think the Lord carries a club? It's a wake-up call. You hear the, the earth shake a little bit, you know, with truth. You know, that's what else can be done. <laughs> you know, if you can't wake people up with showing ecstatic love, right? And you can't do it with transcendental knowledge, that's really, a person's very in a deep sleep, so sometimes you need a little club come out. Club is the truth. Just straight out, straight up talk. That's what the Lord did, that's what Jesus did. Straight up truth. And that's heavy. That cracks the false ego, doesn't it? People in the sangha, they're saying, man, this, guy, this guy's hard to take, man. He doesn't understand me. I want to be understood. Why don't you understand how you know, great I am, you know, and I'm an ecstatic devotee. You know? I say, well, if you're such a great devotee, why is it bothering you, all these things? I get people all day long say, I'm a crazy idiot, lunatic, all that stuff. Doesn't bother me. I just see the, the truth, you know. They're just projecting their own character on here. That's what you're just, you know, you're just like a mirror of that, you know. They're all doing that. Why are you so affected? That's because you're a false ego, you know. You, you should really take shelter here, man, you know. Surrender here and you'll we'll free you from that. Otherwise, that'll be your God. Your God will be that false ego, man. It'll be jerking you around for another lifetime or two, or who knows how long. You want to be free of that? Become a surrendered, committed, submissive person here, you know? And then, you know, we'll be friends. Okay? Well, you friend here, man. Hey, man, you get, you get free, set free. <laughs> But until, if you, you're manifesting these symptoms of not being submissive and surrendered and you want to be equal and all that, and all in the name of not, well, we got to, you know, we just got to continue our work here. You know, you sit in the dentist chair and let us do the work. I know it's not pleasant sometimes and, you know, you can't believe what's coming here. Yeah, it's hard to believe. It's hard for me to believe <laughs> So the Lord ordered Morari Gupta, uh, look at me. And Morari saw Lord Ramachandra in person. 
he saw that Vishwambara, Lord Chaitanya, was sitting on a kingly throne with a bow and his complexion was green like a fresh tended grass shoots. He saw Janak, uh, Janaki Devi and Sita or Sita Devi on the Lord's left and Lakshman on the right. All around, brave monkey leaders were offering prayers. Morari perceiving his identity as Hanuman, see, so when you're with the Lord or the Lord's devotee, your identity can become manifest, which you are. That's already happening here. Isn't it amazing? Amazing. So, see, the Lord, he, when he's not, he's going to, four billion years, another Lord Chaitanya will come. A okay, long time. So he'll do the same work through a real devotee if he's going to do it, and he is here. It's already happening. People's spiritual identity manifesting. A lot of power here, huh? A lot of love here. A lot of truth here. Okay. So you see, it happened in the past times, right? Happening here. What's that mean? Deliverance here. Same kind of bhaktis here. Who has the power to do this? I don't. Not on my own, but the Lord does through wherever he's choosing to work. Parampara has chosen to work here. People, when they realize the real parampara for everybody is here. So many people are riding on Prabhupada's laurels. They believe in him. They believe a connection with him, even though it may be, you know, in name only, more or less, or they're trying to usurp it. Still, they believe in him because the power is there. The real Param, even the Radhakun Babaji's, the, you know, the, they're getting a lot of Prabhupada disciples who believe they're going to get it that way, and they ain't going to get it then. They're going to get it this way. They got to, if you can see the supremacy of this preaching in all ways, then you're fit for deliverance. That's all you have to do is recognize it. That's it! Because if you're a real devotee, you want Krishna, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you be with where you can get into the kingdom of Goloka? Why wouldn't you do that? Unless you're not quite there yet. You've still got these other things. So we're collecting those who are ready to go. Why not? The ones who are not really caring, they just, oh, well, you know, it's nice to be part of a society of you know, and Krishna is nice. He looks nice and blue. You know, and he always got a handsome face and rather around. He's very beautiful and all that. Yeah. Well, you want to go there? Oh yeah, I want definitely want to go there. We'll come here. Oh, well, no, I have too many friends out. Too busy. Mm. Too busy, man. All my friends out there, you know, be well there. You know, and all that stuff. You know, this stuff. They don't know Krishna either. What can they do for you? What can we do for you here? Okay. People are like that. Devotees are like that. They're lost in the, the flowery words of the world and demigods. and the, All flowers can't do much, man. That's why nobody changes much. You come here, you transform. You want to transform? Yeah. That transformation is like, you know, a birth. And the, the painfulness is just the false ego that you thought you were is cracking up so that the real ego identity of being a true servant of the Lord will manifest. And the happiness of that. It's a very happy thing to, to, to please the Lord. It's so wonderful, you know. Then you, as a servant, partake of the remnants of that pleasure of the Lord. You now, the Lord is saying, my God, you've learned how to please me. That's what Prabhupada did. You know, he came to me and he said, now you basically, you know, just, is the meaning is, and you've learned how to please the Lord, man. You, it's in your body. You're going around in ecstasy all the time now. Now teach others how to do that. He didn't tell me I had to crack a few false egos out there. I have to crunk, you know, even crack some of the ones that are being touted as the, the Yuga avatars, you know, and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. They, I'm telling you, man, otherwise this ecstatic devotion will not be preached in this world if they stay in control. If you believe, and the control is just that faith. If your faith is in those, that preaching, you will not be able to partake of this. So I have to... B, destroy the illusion. Or the Lord, through this fool here, has to destroy the illusion. Otherwise, you'll believe in it. 
You'll believe in the snake obstacle all the way. That's what do you think took Adam and Eve down, was believing in the, the order that contradicted the real order of God. That's it, man. That's what they do here with the ones that are touted as you keep worshiping the snake. You know, and it, like those who go against the order of Prabhupada, you know, that Prabhupada said, don't, my God brothers, not one of them is, is, is qualified to be a charya. And that still stands. I haven't seen any change in that. If anything, it's gotten worse because more false egos heaped on that belief that they're actually that. They got more karma to deal with, more illusion. See? People are going there. What's going to happen? You're going to stay there. You're still. You're bound by those who are still bound by the false ego, and it looks really good. Like Putina looks really good, man. That obstacle looks really good, but still, there's the false ego there. There's very, you know, has to be broken through. That's why I say those who come here and play that part, they're all magnanimous souls, but that has to be purified and we see it cracking in some already getting you know people coming back there you know it's like I, I told you it's got to keep squeezing that tit you know and 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 they all say they want to run away the putin in us wants to run away and keep squeezing that tit see until the poison that pops out man, and the real juice comes in you know, see so we're doing that. It, practically, you're going to see some amazing things coming up. Just stay tuned, man. We have action-packed show. The greatest show on earth since 500 years. No, no, since fifth, Prabhupada. Prabhupada had a great show, man. Wasn't it? Amazing. Hey, whenever the Lord doing his real work here, it's an amazing show. Get set, man. Get the popcorn out. It's going to be fun. And now even more fun, because they were just, he was just doing the Vaidhi Bhakti show, you know, get everything ready, man. And now he's here. I mean, he's, I tell you, he's watching all of this, man. That's when he appeared to me. I said, my God, the guy's been watching my activities. <laughs> he's watching all of us, you know, you get that power, you know, you become like that, just like a Jesus. He's Jesus watching all his followers who believe in him. He's watching. Prabhupada was watching me. I was I'm totally into this. Jesus also watching. It's all part of it because he's sending people here too now. Yeah. Yeah. A great show, man. Always, always. Yeah. See, that's what it says. The Lord, when he's here, either himself or his, through his devotees, the colorful activities, colorful show, adventure. You know, you want an adventure? <laughs> Is this adventuresome to you there, guys? <laughs> he's contemplating now. Who's contemplating? <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, I'm a contemplator. <laughs> Lenita, I'm here, Srila. All right, Lenita's here. Hey, <laughs> thank you for coming, Lenita. That's really great. I thank you. A new, new lady. Who's here? Lenita. 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 Yeah, everybody Lenita. should. Yeah. Lenita. Le, Lenita. Le, Lenita. Oh, Lenita. 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 Kijo. So everybody, you know, make sure she's on your friends thing, and you know, uh, make friends because we this we got it. You know, we got a nice community growing here you know we're all going back you know together you know this is it you know there's actually no going back man you're just right here the, the Leela manifests here and you realize there's nowhere back to go the kingdom of God is within and a hand you realize this it's already here man we're doing it engage in the pastimes now more and more you'll realize that <laughs> Yeah, so make friends and new friends coming, make friends and, and can stay connected. People need help, you know, especially in the beginning to, um, you know, the Maya is strong still and they need to get, they need the help of the devotees who are deeper into this to, uh, to help them. It's like a ministry to stay, you know, keep going and stay strong and not be well and they get stronger and stronger and stronger and you very quickly overcome what's called weakness of heart. 
the maya makes you very weak at heart and, and pulls you away this way and that way. Somebody you know, says the wrong thing. Oh, you know. So around, all around the brave monkey leaders were offering, uh, brave monkey leaders were offering prayers. You see, when they served long Ram, they became very brave. Okay? That's what you get. When the Lord comes here or his devotee comes here, you get an opportunity to serve the mission. See? And then you start to get the power to serve the mission because without without the power the power of the spirit that's why you got to hear regularly the whole thing is to get people to hear regularly and get stronger more purified okay? and then you get the power the potency to really serve the mission as Madhikari as a witness and then you're growing and as you're growing you're sharing now you're learning to how you how it is to be a real devotee and how it is to be a tree of devotion man where people begin to nest in it see you become like that see you you're growing up like from the seed grows up into a little sprout into a more of a little tree still the branches you know, and grows more like that and you become a real branch in the tree people nest in it <laughs> 